Good afternoon, everyone. Buenas tardes a todos. This is your first appearance hearing before the Magistrate Court of Clayton County. Esta es la comparecencia inicial en la sala menor del Tribunal de Primera Instancia del Conado de Clayton. We are not here to try your case today or take a plea. No estamos aquí para enjuiciar eh, su causa, tampoco para aceptar ninguna declaración a acusaciones. You are here for the court to inform you of the charges that, that are pending against you. Están aquí para que yo le informe de las acusaciones en su contra. Advise you of certain rights. Para avisarle de sus derechos. Set bail on those offenses for which this court is authorized to set bail. Para determinarles una fianza para las acusaciones que puedo determinar la fianza. To schedule a preliminary hearing. Para programar su audiencia preliminar. And to determine whether you require the assistance of an attorney. Y también para determinar si requieren la ayuda de un abogado. If you all will raise your right hand. Si sería tan amable de levantar la mano derecho, por favor. Do you swear and affirm? Juran y afirman. That the information you're about to give. Que la información que van a dar ahora. Is the truth to the best of your ability. Es la verdad a su mejor capacidad. That you all can lower your hand. Pueden bajar la mano. You do have the right to remain silent and say nothing. Sí tienen el derecho. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. That's fine. That's fine. Sí tienen el derecho a permanecer callados. But should you choose to give up this right, anything you say during this proceeding may be used against you. If your case goes. Pero si eligen renunciar a ese derecho, cualquier cosa que digan se puede usar en su contra en cualquier audiencia o diligencia judicial ulterior. During this and all other proceedings. Ah, oh, I included that part, Your Honor. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. You have the right to the presumption of innocence until the state proves your guilt beyond the reasonable doubt. Tiene derecho a la presunción de inocencia hasta que el Estado haya probado su culpabilidad fuera de una duda razonable. You have the right to indictment by grand jury for most felonies or by accusation for misdemeanors. Tiene derecho a ser acusado formalmente por el gran jurado cuando se trata de delitos mayores o por acusación general cuando se trata de delitos menores. You have the right to a speedy and public trial by jury. Tiene derecho a un juicio público y sin demora ante un jurado. You have the right to see, hear, and cross-examine witnesses who are called to testify against you. Tienen el derecho a ver, escuchar y contrainterrogar los testigos convocados a declarar en su contra. You have the right to compel the attendance of witnesses on your behalf by subpoena. Tienen el derecho a obligar la presencia de testigos a su favor por medio de citatorio judicial. You have the right to testify or offer evidence in your own defense. To do so. Tienen el derecho de presentar pruebas en defensa propia si eligen hacerlo. But should you choose not to, no presumption of your guilt may be raised. Pero si eligen no hacerlo, no se puede presumir culpabilidad de su parte. At this point, if you do not already have a Attorney assisting you with your case. En ese momento, si actualmente no tiene un abogado para asesorarle en este caso. The court will appoint a court appointed attorney to assist you. Yo como juez nombraré, nombraré un abogado de oficio para ayudarle. If you can afford a private attorney and you believe that you need the assistance of an attorney in your case, ask the attorney to file their entry of, of appearance with the court clerk's office, and then the court-appointed attorney will no longer assist you with your matter. Si tiene los medios para contratar un abogado privado y prefiere que un abogado privado le ayude en su caso, pídele al abogado que presente su escritura de rep representación y luego el abogado de oficio ya no representará a usted en su caso. Some of you will be allowed to post unrestricted bond for your release from jail. 
uh, algunos de ustedes tendrán la opción de salir bajo fianza, una fianza sin restricciones. And this is going to uh, be the pending prosecution, pending prosecution of your case. Y eso será durante el enjuiciamiento de su caso. The bond may be made through cash, commercial, or property. Se puede tramitar la fianza depositando efectivo con una compañía comercial de fianzas o poniendo de garantía un inmueble. If you post a cash bond, someone will deliver the full amount of the bond plus surcharges to the sheriff's department who will hold on to that money until your case ends. Si va a tramitar su fianza en efectivo, alguien tendría que presentar el total a la fianza en la oficina del sheriff más los recargos administrativos y guardarán el, el dinero hasta que el caso se haya terminado. Once your case is disposed of, the funds will be returned to the person that posted the bond. Una vez que el caso queda resuelto, la fianza quedará de vuelta a la persona que lo pagó. If you choose to go through a commercial bonding company approved by the sheriff's office, si elige tramitar su fianza a través de una compañía comercial de fianzas, que tiene que ser una de las compañías aprobadas por la comisaría del sheriff, the company will charge up to 15% of your bond amount for their services, and that money will not be returned to you. La compañía cobrará hasta un 15% de la fianza total como la tarifa del servicio, lo cual no será devuelto a la persona que lo pagó. If you use your property to post bond, you will need to have a net equity in the property in an amount equal to three times the total amount of your bond. Si va a utilizar un inmueble como garantía de fianza, tendrá que contar con una propiedad con una participación neta de por lo menos tres veces lo que es el valor de la fianza. If you have special conditions associated with your bond, like if I tell you, do not go to a particular place or do not go around a particular person, please make sure that you follow these instructions. Si su fianza conlleva condiciones especiales que dispongan ningún contacto, como por ejemplo, si le instruyo que no tenga contacto con ciertas personas o que no vaya a ciertos lugares, por favor sigan esas instrucciones. You will also be prohibited from calling or having other contact with the alleged victim while you are in jail. También se le prohíbe llamar o tener algún contacto con la presunta víctima mientras está detenido. Should you violate the court's order, your bond will be revoked and you will not be entitled to another bond while awaiting trial. Si incumple esta orden judicial, su fianza quedará revocada y no tendrá eh, derecho a otra fianza mientras está esperando la resolución de su caso. An additional charge of aggravated stalking, influencing witnesses, or other charges that the law may provide could be charged or added against you. Eh, acusaciones adicionales de acecho con agravantes o influenciar a testigos o otros eh, cargos o acusaciones se puede formular en su contra. For which you could be sentenced up to 10 years in prison and fined up to $20,000. Por los cuales pueden ponerle una condena de 10 años de prisión o una multa de mil dólares. For family members and friends that are also listed as alleged victims in your case, they may not assist with the posting of bond So you will have to make other arrangements. Para las, para las personas que aparecen como presuntas víctimas, sean familiares uh, o parientes, esas personas tampoco pueden tramitar la fianza, así que tendrá que buscar otra persona que le ayude a tramitar la fianza. Some of you are charged with offenses for which this court is not authorized by law to set bail. Algunos de ustedes se encuentran acusadas de delitos por los cuales yo como juez no tengo la autorización de imponerle una fianza. In this event, a bond hearing will be scheduled before a superior court judge and you will be informed of that date. En este caso, 
una audiencia para determinar su fianza se programará ante un juez superior y a usted le va, se le va a informar de esta fecha. If you are currently on active probation, this court is not authorized to set a bond. Si actualmente está cumpliendo una condena de libertad a prueba, yo como juez no tengo la autorización para eh, imponerle fianza hoy. Your bond can be reconsidered after your probation officer has had an opportunity to determine if they wish to file a warrant, excuse me, if they wish to file a warrant for violation of your probation and this is usually done during your preliminary hearing. Una reconsideración de la fianza puede ocurrir una vez que su agente de libertad de prueba a prueba ha tenido la oportunidad de presentar una orden de captura por haber incumplido las normas de su libertad condicional, lo cual normalmente sucede durante la audiencia preliminar. Also during the preliminary hearing, the court determines whether there is probable cause or enough information to proceed to the next stage in your case. También durante la audiencia preliminar, él o la juez determinará si existen motivo, motivos fundados para que el caso siga adelante al siguiente nivel. For those of you charged with misdemeanors only, you will have the option of waiving your preliminary hearing today. Para ustedes que se encuentran acusados solamente de infracciones o delitos, delitos menores, tendrán la opción a renunciar a tener la audiencia preliminar hoy mismo. Waiving your hearing will not affect your right to post bond, your right to have an attorney appointed to represent you, or your right to have a jury trial. Si deciden renunciar a tener la audiencia preliminar, no afectará su habilidad de tramitar una fianza o de tener una fianza, de que le nombren un abogado de oficio o de tener un juicio por jurado. If you post bond, your preliminary hearing is automatically waived and you will be mailed notice on when to appear in state court for your arraignment. Si tramita la fianza para salir, entonces la audiencia preliminar quedará renunciada automáticamente y recibirá por correo la notificación de cuando se tiene que presentar en el, la sala estatal del, Conado, del Tribunal Econado de Clayton. If you don't understand what waiving preliminary hearing is, or if you choose to speak with your court appointed attorney first or your private attorney before making that decision, we will give you a preset preliminary court date. Again, this is for misdemeanors that's scheduled for October the 20th at 8 a.m. in courtroom 201. Right. Si no entiende lo que significa renunciar a tener la audiencia preliminar o si prefiere hablar primero con su abogado de oficio o su abogado eh, privado antes de tomar la, dec la decisión, la audiencia preliminar será programada para el 20 de octubre a las 8 de la mañana en la sala 201. Y me refiero a los que solamente se encuentran eh, acusados de delitos menores. All right, and for those of you charged with felonies, you do not have the option of waiving today, but you may be given that option at a future date. So I'll give you your preliminary court date. Para ustedes que se encuentren acusados de delitos mayores, no tienen la, la opción a renunciar a tener la audiencia preliminar hoy mismo. Um, entonces, se le programará su audiencia preliminar y le voy a informar de la fecha hoy. All right. Attorney Walker, you said you had who first? You're muted. Can you hear me, Judge? I can hear you now. I have uh, Mr. Adrian McCune. All right, let's have Mr. McCune up first, please. Okay. And then, um, <laughs> counsel, tell me uh, your client's name again. Adrian. No, I oh. have McCune. He knows who. Raj Hitchcock, Your Honor. Hitchcock, thank you. And then Raj Hitchcock will be next. 
Okay. All right, sir. Are you Adrian McComb? I can't hear him. Are you Adrian McComb? Yes. All right, Mr. McComb, you're charged with your attorneys on as well. You're charged with reckless conduct, discharging a firearm near a highway, tampering with evidence, and giving false statements. Do you understand what you're charged with? Yes. Sir? Yes. Counsel, do you waive the formal reading of the charges? So waived, John. All right, that bond is going to be $22,000. Um, it's five on the reckless, five on the discharging of the firearm, five on the tampering with evidence, and seven on the false statement. Mr. Uh, McCoon, you're also ordered not to violate any laws if you post bond. Do you think you'll be able to post bond, counsel? Yes, his family will be able to post it, Judge, as soon as it, uh, it show up on the screen. They, they're standing by right now. Thank you. And the preliminary hearing is going to be set for November the 4th at We're 8 waiting there, Judge. You have to do it um, through, with the paperwork oh, okay. court, um, since it's a felony on the false statements, okay? The false right, statement is no a felony? Yes, sir. Okay. And that's, um, again, that's going to be November the 4th at 8 a.m. in courtroom 201. Okay. All right, and you can return with the deputy, Mr. Uh, McComb. Thank you, Yana. All right. Thank you, counsel. Have a good one. Thank you. That concludes my business, Yana. All right. Have a good day. You too. All right. And then um, after Mr. Hitchcock, uh, Attorney Wall, tell me one more time. Timothy Duke. All right. And then we'll have uh, Timothy Duke after Mr. Hitchcock. Thank you, Judge. Okay, where did the jail go? Oh, there you are. Are you, uh, Raj? Yeah, I, I, can, I get him off the phone. Are you Raj Hitchcock? Yes, ma'am. All right, Mr. Hitchcock, you're charged with driving with an expired tag. Two counts of violation of Georgia Control Substance Act. The first one is possession of marijuana and then possession of cocaine with intent to distribute. You have fleeing from police, reckless driving, aggravated assault, possession of a weapon during the commission of a crime, trafficking in marijuana and tampering with evidence. Do you understand what you're charged with? Um, Somewhere, no. All right, counsel, do you waive the formal reading of the charges? We waive, Your Honor. All right, you do not have a bond at this time, Mr. Hitchcock. Um, and the your order not to violate any laws if you post bond in the future. Council, the preliminary court date is set for November the 4th. Judge, he has no bonds on any of the charges? A.M. Pardon me? In courtroom row one. So he has no bond I'm on sorry. any of the charges, Your Honor? No, he does have on some, but this is on the trafficking with marijuana. Okay. All right. Thank you, Your Honor. So you said right. November the... The 4th at 4th. 8 a.m. in courtroom 201. Thank you, Your Honor. All right. I can close my business. May I be excused? Yes, have a good day. And uh, Mr. Hitchcock, you can return with the deputy. Thank you. Come on, sir. All right, and then um, Attorney Michaela, who's yours? Eric Harris, Judge. You said Harris? All right, we're gonna have Eric Harris is not in the facility, I was told. Is Mr. Harris back? Checking right now. Yeah, I think he's maybe in the hospital or something. He's it says he's out on loan. He's back, Your Honor. Okay, they have not sent me his paperwork, so um, I'm sorry, Mr. Uh, 
Michaela, if I need you to stand by a little bit longer, um, I'll shoot them an email to send me his paperwork, but they didn't send it because they said he was out. Okay? Okay. Right, stand, Thank you, Judge. By. Thank you. All right. And then you're Timothy Duke. Yes, ma'am. All right, Mr. Duke, your attorney is on. You are charged with theft by taking. Do you understand what you're charged with? Counsel, do you waive the formal reading of the charges? Yes, Your Honor. All right, that bond is going to be $10,000 and you're ordered not to violate any laws if you post bond. Counsel, do you think your client will be able to post bond? I, I believe so, yes, Judge. All right, and that preliminary hearing is set for November the 4th at 8 a.m. in courtroom 201. Thank you, Your Honor. You're welcome, Mr. Duke. You can return with the deputy. May I be excused, uh, Your Honor? Yes, have a good day. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Just give me one second. Let me uh, ask them to provide the paperwork for um, Mr. Harris. Eric Harris. <laughs> All right, we'll do the um, Spanish-speaking inmates while we wait on the paperwork. I have Garcia Fogago. Am I saying that wrong? Like I'm this? not sure, Your Honor. Garcia Fogago Garcia? Yes. yes. And then we'll do Eduardo Hernandez. Yes, ma'am. And you're El, El Luis Garcia Fagu Aga? Actually, the jail is muted. Oh, okay. It's, it, it appears on my screen. Señores, usted El Luis Fagu Aga Garcia? Yes. All right. Uh, sir, do you know what your charge is? Señor, ¿sabe usted de qué se le acusa? Uh, no. ¿Cómo dice? No. Do you want your charges read out loud? ¿Quiere que yo le lea las acusaciones en voz alta? No. No. Okay. Um, you do not have a bond at this time. And you're ordered to stay away from Misa Baldera. Actualmente no tiene and not una to fianza. violate any laws if you post bond in the future. Actualmente no tiene la fianza impuesta. A usted se le ordena ningún contacto con Misa Baldera. Um, y si sale bajo fianza posteriormente, que no incumple la ley. Your preliminary hearing is set for November the 4th at 8 a.m. in courtroom 201. Tiene la audiencia preliminar señalada, señor, para el 4 de noviembre a las 8 de la mañana en la sala 201. And you may return with the deputy. Puede volver con el agente. Gracias, señor. And we'll 
after Eduardo Hernandez will be Juan Suarez. No. Sorry. And your Eduardo Hernandez. Is this the Eduardo Hernandez? Yes. You're charged with driving without a license and driving with no insurance. Do you usted, understand what you're charged with? A usted se le acusa de manejar sin licencia, señor, y manejar sin seguro de auto. Entiende las infracciones en su contra. Sí. Yes. Uh, your bond is $2,000 and you're ordered not to violate any laws if you post bond. Tiene una fianza en la cantidad de $2,000. Se le ordena no incumplir la ley estando en libertad bajo fianza. Do you think you'll be able to post bond? ¿Piensa que va a poder depositar fianza, señor? Sí. Yes. Do you waive your preliminary hearing or would you like to have it? ¿Le gustaría renunciar a tener la audiencia preliminar o quisiera tenerla? Uh, no. No. All right, that's going to be scheduled for October the 20th at 8 a.m. in courtroom 201. And you may return with the deputy. Se señala entonces para el 20 de octubre a las 8 de la mañana en la sala 201. Puede retirarse, señor. All right, Mr. Suarez will be next. Señor Suarez. What's your name, sir? ¿Cuál es su nombre, señor? Juan Suarez. All right, sir, you're charged with criminal trespass, and there was a family violence order charge that was dismissed. That does not mean that the state cannot bring that second charge at a later date. Do you señor. understand? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, go ahead, Your Honor. No, go ahead. Eh, señor, se le acusa de invadir o hacer daños en una propiedad privada. Y había una acusación adicional de violencia intrafamiliar, pero esta acusación quedó desestimada. Eso no, no significa que en una fecha, en un futuro, el Estado no puede volver a acusarle uh, de esa infracción. ¿Entiende las acusaciones? Sí. Yes. All right. And do you waive your preliminary hearing or would you like to have it? Quisiera, señor, renunciar a tener la audiencia preliminar o quisiera tenerla? Hold on. Hold on. I'm sorry. Did, did I give him his bond amount? No, no, you did not, Your Honor. Okay. I think I went too far and then went, didn't go all the way back. Okay. So you're charged with criminal trespass and your bond is $3,500. Entonces, tiene una acusación de invadir o hacer daños en una propiedad privada y la fianza para esta acusación es $3,500 dólares. You're ordered to stay away from Santana Cortez Yadira. A usted se le prohíbe contacto con Santana Cortez Yadira. Yes. You're ordered not to return to 99 Buttonwood Court in Riverdale, Georgia. A usted se le prohíbe regresar a 99 del Buttonwood Court in Riverdale, Georgia. If you have any of your belongings at that address, you are to make arrangements with the sheriff to pick it up. Si tiene pertenencias que siguen en esa dirección, tiene que arreglar o programar con un agente del sheriff para pasar a recogerlas. And you're not to violate any laws y no puede cumplir bond. la ley cuando salga en libertad bajo fianza. Señor, ¿piensa que va a poder depositar la fianza? Excuse me, I didn't hear you. Do you think you'll be able to post bond? Que si piensa que va a poder depositar la fianza, señor. Yes. And do you waive your preliminary hearing or would you like to have it? Y le, gusta renuncia, le gustaría renunciar a tener la audiencia preliminar o quisiera tenerla? No, I'll waive. 
are standby to sign your waiver. Muy bien, señor. Esté a la espera para firmar la renuncia. Okay. All right, I believe that's the last one that I had. Um, deputy, can you confirm? You can return with the deputy, sir. Can you Puede retirar, señor, retirarse, señor, gracias. Deputy, can you confirm that there is no more uh, inmates requiring the assistance of an interpreter, please? We confirm. Okay, thank you, Ms. Tolls. Okay, thank you. All right, bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right, so you all want to do uh, the seventh first, and then I'll have to read to the read the spill to the. Um, yes, Your Honor, we'll do it. For the eighth, okay. All right, and Council, we're holding on Harris, okay. All right, we'll do the Understood, females Josh. first. Thank you. I have Jennifer Hankins. Hankins and then Fatima Thomas. Thomas. Thomas, Thomas, Thomas. Are you Jennifer Hankins? Yeah. You're charged with criminal damage to property in the second degree. Do you understand what you're charged with? You said no. I can't hear you. No, ma'am. All right. It is said that on October the 6th of this year in Clayton County, you intentionally burned the property of the victim, James West, after a domestic disturbance. It says that you put three chairs in a fire and destroyed them and that you admitted to burning the chairs. The victim advised the offender did not have permission to burn the chairs, it says the victim and the offender lived together. Again, this did occur in Clayton County. Your bond is $12,000. You're ordered to stay away from James West, not to return to 5189 5th Street in Morrow, Georgia. If you have any of your belongings at that address, you are to make arrangements with the sheriff to pick it up, and you're not to violate any laws if you post bond. Your preliminary hearing is set for November the 4th at 8 a.m. in courtroom 201. You may return with the deputy. Can we find out if it's a felony? It's a felony, ma'am, to burn the property. All right, Fatima Thomas, and then it's Veronica Webster. And you're Fatima Thomas. You're charged with improper term, driving on a suspended license, giving false name, address, or date of birth. And violation of the Control Substance Act that is scheduled. Do you understand what you're charged with, ma'am? All right. Do you understand what you're charged with, ma'am? Yes. You do not have a bond at this time. Looks like you are on probation out of Plain County State Court. I just I just paid it off uh, the same day. I'm not on probation. It says that you're on probation um, for 12 months. So speak with your court appointed attorney regarding that. And if there's additional information that we need to consider, then they can present it to the court properly. My attorney was ordered not to violate any laws if you postpone. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Do I need to get an attorney right now? If you cannot afford a private attorney, the court appointed attorney that we have appointed to you can assist you with your case. And when will I speak to him or she or she? Uh, they'll, if you remain in custody, they'll make contact with you. If you come, if you post bond, you do need to call the, uh, the public defender's office. So right right, now and you're 
preliminary court date is going to be set for November the 4th at 8 a.m. in courtroom 201. And you may return with the deputy. After Ms. Webster is Alfred. No, no, no. I'm going to do the females on. I'll have to do all the males. On, so Alfred Brightway. And this is Veronica Webster. Yes. Ms. Webster, you're charged with aggravated assault. Do you understand what you're charged with? Yes, Minus $12,000. You're ordered to stay away from Sharon Elaine, not to return to 3825 Highway 138, Southeast Clayton County, Georgia. And you're not to violate any laws if you post bond. Do you think you'll be able to post bond? Yes, ma'am. But do you know that that's my job? She that's where the incident location, that's the incident location. So you cannot return there at this time. If there's additional information that you'd like the court to consider, you do need to ask your attorney to provide the court with that information properly, okay? You said my bond is how much? $12,000. Your preliminary hearing is set for November the 4th at 8 a.m. in courtroom 201. And you may return with the deputy. After Mr. Brightway is Cornelius Brown. Before, did you want to do all the emails from? Or? Well, I don't think that I was. I don't think the other group from October eighth was able to hear the opening, right? <laughs> Is that correct? Uh, we brought all the females out. Oh, okay. Well, then I'll do the April borrow then. Yes, we brought all the females out on the, the first Thank year. Okay. After Ms. Borrow, then I have Tadeja Butler. All right, and your April borrow? No, today's your brother. All right, is April borrow still in custody? Uh, Do April borrow? Are you April borrow? Ms. Barlow, you're charged with public indecency and decent exposure. Do you understand what you're charged with? Your bond is $2,000 and you're ordered not to violate any laws if you post bond. Do you think you'll be able to post bond? I don't have the money to post bond. Is there any way you can let me out on my own? Do you waive your preliminary hearing or would you like to? Does that mean I could get out today and come back to court? Your bond will not be affected one way or the other. Um, yeah, I want to come back to court. I don't, I'm not understanding exactly what that means. Does that mean I get out today and then come back to court? Your bond will not be affected one way or the other. So you can post bond either way. The preliminary hearing, I'm going to go ahead and schedule it for October the 20th at 8 a.m. in courtroom 201. After you speak with your court appointed attorney, if you choose to waive, they'll notify the court, okay? And you can uh, return to the deputy. I don't know what waving it means because I want to get on, out right ma'am, now. Ma'am, let's go. Come on, let's go. Next. All right, after Ms. Butler will be Delina Duffy. And you're to Deja Butler. Sure. You're charged with speeding and uh, reckless driving. Do you understand what you're charged with? Yes. You 
I can't hear you. Say so you're charged with speeding 112 miles per hour in a 65 mile per hour speed zone and reckless driving. Do you understand what you're charged with? Yes. Your bond is $3,000 and you're ordered not to violate any laws if you post bond. Do you think you'll be able to post bond? Yes. Do you waive your preliminary hearing or would you like to have it? I don't know what that is. You go away. What is it? Okay, I'll schedule your preliminary hearing for October the 20th at 8 a.m. in courtroom 201. After you speak with your court-appointed attorney and they are able to explain and answer any questions for you, if you choose to waive, they'll notify the court, okay? And you can return with the deputy. Right, after Ms. Duffy is going to be Tierra Tweedy. And you're Delina Duffy. Yes, ma'am. You're charged with driving with no license. Do you understand what you're charged with? Yes. Your bond is $1,000 and you're ordered not to violate any laws if you post bond. Do you think you'll be able to post bond? Yes. Do you waive your preliminary hearing or would you like to have it? I like to have it. That's going to be set for October the 20th at 8 a.m. in courtroom 201. You may return with the deputy. Okay. After Ms. Tweedy is Terrica Vincent. And you are Tierra Tweedy? No, I'm Terrica Vincent. All right, is Miss uh, Tweety still in custody? Yeah, you just, that was Tweety that was just up. That was supposed to be Delana Duffy. Duffy's out on bond. I specifically asked her if she was Duffy. We are. Right, can you call her back up, please? Tweety. Tierra Tweedy. All right, Miss Tweedy, you're charged with driving with no license, ex driving with an expired tag and child safety restraint violation. Do you understand what you're charged with? Yes. Your bond is $2,000 and you're ordered not to violate any laws if you post bond. Do you think you Yes. Do you waive your preliminary hearing or would you like to have it? I'd like to have it. It's going to be set for October the 20th at 8 a.m. in courtroom 201. And you may return with the deputy. All right, Terrica Vincent and then Derrica Whitaker. And you're Terrica Vincent. You're charged with giving false name, address, or date of birth. Do you understand what you're charged with? Your bond is $1,500. You're ordered not to violate any laws if you post bond. Do you think you'll be able to post bond? Do you waive your preliminary hearing or would you like to have it? That's gonna be set for October the 20th at 8 a.m. in courtroom 201. You may return with the deputy. 
Thank you. You're welcome. All right, next. last one, Derricka Whitaker. Are you Derricka Whitaker? Yeah. Are you Derricka Whitaker? Yes, ma'am. You're charged with driving with no tail light, no brake light, or sig turn signal, giving a false name, address, or date of birth, and driving with no license on person. Do you understand what you're charged with? Yes, Your Honor. Your bond is $3,000 and you're ordered not to violate any laws if you post bond. Do you think you'll be able to post bond? And do you waive your preliminary hearing or would you like to have it? I would like to have it, Your Honor. That's going to be set for October the 20th at 8 a.m. in courtroom 201. And you may return with the deputy. All right, just give me a moment to try to see if the paperwork came over yet. Just one moment. Yes, That's for Miss Whitaker. Yes. Say it again. That was for Miss Whitaker. That you the was It's supposed to be for Eric Harris. And did, did you have a dyer on there again? You said dyer. Yeah, it was a, a female. female. Or dyer. Last name dyer. What name? Um, for October 8th. She's on the list, but she said she already been in court. I don't have a diary. Okay. All right, just give me a second. Yeah. All right, ready, everybody. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go.
All right, Council, they've sent over uh, some of the paper. The paperwork is about 40 pages. So um, I don't know if you want to give me 30 minutes and come back on. Let me get some of these down, okay? Okay, Judge, a uh, uh, question is, uh, I just had a question about the bond. Is, is it, if there is no bond, am I able to argue bond? Well, you can't argue bond. We normally establish or determine it based on the, um, affidavit or the warrant as presented and then if there's additional information to be considered you can submit the proper paperwork or consent um, if you're able to reach one with the state and then present it for our uh, review I can't I can't say that just yet there are some felonies on here so I have to check and see but I'll um, I have to look at it okay well I'll stand by all right thank, thank you, you. All right. Okay. All right. So we can do the um, seventh calendar. I have Alfred Braithwaite first. Okay. All right. Thank you. Braithwaite. Alfred. And then Cornelius Brown. I have court. Let me see what I do. Sir, what's your name? I can't hear you. You're muted. Alfred Bradway. Speak up. All right, Mr. Bradway, you're charged with criminal trespass and damage to property. Do you understand what you're charged with? Yes. All right, your bond is $3,500. You're ordered to stay away from Antoinette Abraham, not to return to 11052. Genova Terrace in Hampton, Georgia, and you're not to violate any laws if you post bond. Do you think you'll be able to post bond? Yes. And do you waive your preliminary hearing or would you like to have it? All right, I'm going to give you a preliminary court date for October the 20th at 8 a.m. in courtroom 201. Once you speak with your court-appointed attorney, if you choose to waive, they'll notify the court. And you can return with the deputy, sir. All right, after Mr. Brown is going to be Demetrius Darius. <clears throat> and you're Cornelius Brown. You're charged with battery. Do you understand what you're charged with? Your bond is $5,000. You're ordered to stay away from Tamisha Crawford, not to return to 4233 Jonesboro Road in Clayton County, Georgia. If you have any of your belongings at that address, you are to make arrangements with the sheriff to pick it up, and you're not to violate any laws if you post bond. Do you think you'll be able to post bond? And do you waive your preliminary hearing or would you like to have it? Stand by to sign your waiver. 
After Mr. Darius is Anton Green. You can return with the deputy, sir. And your Demetrius Darius, you're charged with violation of Georgia Control Substance Act, possession of drug related objects, and loitering or prowling. That is Schedule One methamphetamine. Do you understand what you're charged with? You said no. It is said that on October the 6th, you did possess in your front right pocket a glass contain a container containing a small white crystal believed to be methamphetamine. Said offender did possess a glass smoky device commonly referred to as a pipe in his front left pants pocket. The pipe had residue inside. The offender was observed loitering or prowling in the parking lot of Checkers, located at 6339 Terra Boulevard. Your bond is $11,000. You're ordered not to violate any laws if you post bond. Do you think you'll be able to post bond? No. It's mine. It's mine. Your preliminary hearing is set for November the 4th at 8 a.m. in courtroom 201. And you may return with the deputy. After Mr. Green is Christian Hollins and your Anton Green. Mr. Green, you're charged with possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. In violation of Georgia Control Substance Act, that is possession of Schedule 1 THC. Do you understand what you're charged with? Your bond is $18,500 and you're ordered not to violate any laws if you post bond. Do you think you'll be able to post bond? Your preliminary hearing is set for... November the 4th at 8 a.m. in courtroom 201. And you may return with the deputy. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. After Mr. Collins, Hollins is Lamb Johnson. Your name is Mr. Johnson. Okay, one moment, Judge Thank you. Johnson. She said Johnson, have a Judge McFarland, who did you need next? Christian Collins and then Lamb Johnson. Okay, Collins. Are you saying Collins or Hollins, Judge McFarland? Collins with an H. H. Okay, I'm clear. Is there a Hollins in No. One moment, Judge McFarland. Thank you. Is he in there? Sir, <laughs> so what's your name? I can't hear you. Sean Holland. All right, Mr. Hollins, you're charged with criminal trespassing. Do you understand what you're charged with? Sir? Yes, ma'am. Your fine is $3,000. You're ordered to stay away from Mildred Hollins, not to return to 5377 Denny Drive in College Park, Georgia. And you're not to violate any laws if you post bond. Do you think you'll be able to post bond? Yes, ma'am. Do you waive your preliminary hearing or would you like to have it? I'm not sure what I should answer right now. So I'm going to set it for October the 20th at 8 a.m. in courtroom 201. After you speak with your court-appointed attorney, if you choose to waive, they'll notify the court, okay? Thank you, sir. You can return with the deputy. After Mr. Johnson is Tyreek Jones. Jones. And your Lamb Johnson? No. 
Is Mr. Johnson, Liam Johnson there? Just me. Tell her your name. Liam Johnson. Okay, speak louder so she can hear. Are you Mr. Johnson? Yes, Take a seat here. Are you Lamb Johnson? Yes, ma'am. You're charged with simple battery. Do you understand what you're charged with? Yes, Your Honor. Your bond is $5,000. You're ordered to stay away from Don Quarius King, not to violate any laws if you post bond. Do you think you'll be able to post bond? Yes, ma'am. Do you waive your preliminary hearing or would you like to have it? Um, waive. Stand by to sign your waiver. Yeah. After Tyreek Jones is Orlandis Kelly. Yeah, Jones. And you're Tyreek Jones. Yes. You're charged with battery. Do you understand what you're charged with? Yes. Your bond is $5,000. You're ordered to stay away from Savion Clark, not to return to 400 River Oak Drive in Riverdale, Georgia, and you're not to violate any laws if you post bond. Do you think you'll be able to post bond? Yes, but that 400 River Oak Drive, that's my house. Does he? Does Mr. Clark live there? No, he, he's staying up. He don't live there. I pay the bills there. That's my house. All right, speak with your court appointed attorney so that they can present the information that the court needs to determine if there needs to be changes to the bond order, but that's the order as of today. Do you waive your preliminary hearing or would you like to have it? Um, I, I don't know. I'll schedule it for October the 20th at 8 a.m. in courtroom 201. After you speak with your attorney, if you choose to waive, they'll notify the court. You can return with the deputy. After Mr. Kelly is Alan Mims. No, it's Mr. Kelly right here. After Mr. Kelly. Oh, Alan. After Mr. Kelly. Oh, it's Mr. Mims. All right. Mr. Mims. All right, and you're Orlandis Kelly. Sir. You're charged with violation of Georgia Controlled Substance Act that is possession of marijuana, possession of a firearm during commission of a felony, window tint violation, then you have a second possession of marijuana charge. Sir, do you understand what you're charged with? Yes, ma'am. The bond is $25,500 in order not to violate any laws if you post bond. Do you think you'll be able to post bond? Yes, ma'am. Your preliminary hearing is set for November the 4th at 8 a.m. in courtroom 201. And you may return with the deputy. You talking to me? Yeah. Yes, sir. She was chopping up. Did he hear me? Mr. Mills. After Mr. Mims is Ride One Olo Yide, and you're Alan Mims. Mr. Mims, you're charged with public drunk. Do you understand what you're charged with? Your bond is $1,000. You're ordered not to violate any laws if you post bond. Do you think you'll be able to post bond? Do you waive your preliminary hearing or would you like to have it? Uh, I'm waiting. Stand by to sign your waiver, sir. Judge McFarland, who's next? Olayide, Ridwan, and then is Quandarius Pulling. Sir, pronounce your name. Olayide, Ridwan. All right, sir, you're charged with driving without a license and giving false name, address, or date of birth. Do you understand what you're charged with? Your bond is $2,000 and you're ordered not to violate any laws if you post bond. You think you'll be able to post bond? Do you waive your preliminary hearing or would you like to have it? What does it mean to Sir? What does it mean to waive it or not? Oh, I have it. If you're waving, that means you don't want to have it. 
but then I waive it. All right, stand by to sign your waiver. After Mr. Pullen is Demetrius Roberts. And your Quindarius Pullen. You're charged with speeding, reckless driving, driving on a suspended license, and possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. That speed is 101 miles per hour in a 65 mile per hour speed zone. Do you understand what you're charged with? You do not have a bond at this time. Looks like you're under sentence out of Plain County State Court on probation. You're ordered not to violate any laws if you post bond in the future. Your preliminary court date is set for November the 4th at 8 a.m. in courtroom 201. You may return with the deputy. After Mr. Roberts is Jamel Watts. And you're Demetrius Roberts. Wait. Sir. You're charged with battery and cruelty to a person who was 65 years of age or older. Do you understand what you're charged with? You do not have a bond at this time. You're ordered to stay away from Sylvester Davis Jr. Not to return to 203 Brandon Ridge Court in Riverdale, Georgia. You're not to violate any laws if you post bond in the future. Your preliminary court date is set for November the 4th at 8 a.m. in courtroom 201. And you may return with the deputy. Can I ask the first thing on? Is yes, that, sir. Is that the earliest court date I can receive? Yes, that's the earliest we have available. Also, um, I have belongings and a lot of possessions there. So, what do I turn there with the police? When I'm okay, you can make arrangements with the de the sheriff's office to pick up your belongings. Okay. You'll call so they'll schedule an appointment. All right. Thank you. Sir. After Mr. Watts is Jamika Williams. And your Jamel Watts. Yes, ma'am. Mr. Watts, you're charged with possession of marijuana less than an ounce and two counts of violation of Georgia Controlled Substance Act. The intent to distribute has been dismissed at this time. That does not mean that the state will not present it at a later date. So you still have the possession. Do you understand what you're charged with? No. You said no? no. I can't hear you, sir. Yes. Yes, yeah. you understand or no, you do not understand? Yes, I understand. Okay. Your bond is $11,500 and you're ordered not to violate any laws if you post bond. Do you think you'll be able to post bond? Yes. Yes, I'm. Yes. Okay, I apologize. Um, well, let me move on. All right, Mr. Watts, your preliminary hearing is scheduled for November the 4th at 8 a.m. in courtroom 201. And you may return with the deputy. All right, thank you. After Jamika Williams is going to be Yosef Yobisa. And your, pronounce your name, sir. Michael Williams. I can't hear you, Jamaica, sorry, Williams. All right, Mr. Williams, you're charged with seatbelt violation, driving on a suspended license, and possession of marijuana less than an ounce. Do you understand what you're charged with? Yes, ma'am. Your bond is $3,500, and you're ordered not to violate any laws if you post bond. Do you think you'll be able to post bond? No. Do you waive your preliminary hearing, or would you like to have it? I'll waive it. Stand by to sign your waiver. 
After Mr. Yabisa is Christopher Zanders. Well, is Zanders out to bond? I'm unclear. Stand by one moment. Thank you. All right. And you're Mr. Yasiba. Excuse um, me. Y Yipsa. You're charged with battery and criminal trespassing. Do you understand what you're charged with? I understand the charge to me, yes. Your bond is $8,500. You're ordered to stay away from Stephen Muyaga, not to return to 2600 Maynard Jackson Jr. Drive in Atlanta, and you're not to violate any laws if you post bond. Do you think you'll be able to post bond? Correspond means I don't understand. Excuse me, sir. I don't understand. Correspond means I don't I don't understand. Do you think you'll be able to pay the fees to be released from jail? Yes. And do you waive your preliminary hearing or would you like to have it? I'm gonna I'm gonna pay today today. Uh, I have credit card with me. Uh, okay, I'm going to um, set your preliminary court date for October the 20th at 8 a.m. in courtroom 201. Once you speak with your attorney, your court appointed attorney, if you choose to waive, they'll notify the court, okay? Uh, okay. You can return with the deputy, but that won't affect your bond. You can post bond today, sir. Uh, uh, excuse, me, uh, excuse, uh, excuse me, could you repeat again? If you don't mind. The date is October the 20th at 8 a.m. in courtroom 201. Okay, thank you. Judge, right. Judge Carlin? Yes. Uh, Xanders is out to bond, and the last one after them, uh, one moment, I'll give you the other name. Xanders and Zaron. I'm sorry, you said Xanders is out to bond. I didn't hear after that. And the other last name, Zaron? Z E R O N. Yeah, you're also out to bond as well. Okay, I need to um, do the opening for October eighth. The males, I believe. They, they were out. Uh, they were out also. We opened the back door to everybody that um, they all got it. So everybody heard. Yeah, everybody heard. Okay, so then we have Damian Bailey. Yes, Your Honor. Um, Your Honor, what was um the last person's uh, bond? Uh, Mr. Did you hear? No, we didn't hear it, Johnny. It broke up. It was 8,500. Thank you, Your Honor. Bailey's at Good afternoon. Okay, good afternoon. So what's your name? Amy Bailey. All right, after Mr. Bailey is Gerard Cox, or Gerald Cox, and you're Mr. Bailey, you're charged with criminal damage to property in the second degree and criminal trespassing. Do you understand what you're charged with? Yes, Your bond is $9,500. You're ordered to stay away from Amy Gates and Courtney Phillips, not to return to 3647 Merlot Drive in Ellenwood, Georgia. And you're not to violate any laws if you post bond. If you have any of your belongings at that address, you are to make arrangements with the sheriff to pick it up. Okay. Do you think you'll be able to make bond? Yes. And your preliminary court date is set for November the 4th at 8 a.m. in courtroom 201. You may return with the deputy. All right, after Mr. Cox is Darnell Cruz. And your Gerald Cox. Yes, ma'am. Mr. Cox, you're charged with theft by receiving stolen property. Do you understand what you're charged with? Your bond is $10,000 and you're ordered not to violate any laws if you post bond. Do you think you'll be able to post bond? 
Your preliminary court date is set for November the 4th at 8 a.m. in courtroom 201. You may return with the deputy. After Mr. Cruz is Rashad Dixon. And then uh, you're Darnell Cruz. Are you Darnell Cruz? Sir? Yes, ma'am. You're, you're charged with theft by receiving stolen property and driving on a suspended license. Do you understand what you're charged with? Your bond is $11,500 and you're ordered not to violate any laws if you post bond. Do you think you'll be able to post bond? No, ma'am. Your preliminary court date is set for November the 4th at 8 a.m. in courtroom 201. And you may return with the deputy. Mm -hmm. After Mr. Dixon is Lifus Ferguson or Lifus Ferguson and you're Rashad Dixon. Yes, ma'am. You're charged with driving with no insurance, driving on a suspended license, and driving with expired tag. Do you understand what you're charged with? Your bond is $3,000, and you're ordered not to violate any laws if you post bond. Do you think you'll be able to post bond? No. Sir? No. Do you waive your preliminary hearing, or would you like to have it? Waive it. Stand by to sign your waiver. After Mr. Ferguson is Jacoby Kilgore. And your Lephus Ferguson? Lephus. Lephus, you're charged with criminal trespassing and battery. Do you understand what you're charged with? Yes. Your bond is $8,500. You're ordered to stay away from DeAntre Mack not to return to 1600 Rock Cut Road in Conley, Georgia. Do you have any of your belongings at that address? You are to make arrangements with the sheriff to pick it up and you're not to violate any laws if you post bond. Do you think you'll be able to post bond? Yes. Do you waive your preliminary hearing or would you like to have it? I'd like to have it. That's gonna be set for October the 20th at 8 a.m. in courtroom 201. And you may return with the deputy. You say my bond was eight thousand five hundred. Eight thousand five hundred, yes, sir. So come over. Here. All right, just give me one second. Let me check this. Hold on one second. Joe's trying to get the attention. Definitely <laughs> Hey, oh, sit down. See if you come back next time. Come on. Come on. Come on. I go sit down to see if you come back in the camera. Oh, you said you want to get cold. You said you're cold.
All right. Um, uh, Attorney Michaela, I'm ready for Eric Harris. Yes, Judge Lemire. All right, are you Eric Harris? Sir, are you Eric Harris? Okay. All right, Mr. Harris, your attorney is on. Sir, you're charged with reckless conduct, possession of marijuana, less than an ounce, uh, violation of red light, traffic control device, obstructing an officer, fleeing from police officer, reckless driving, given false name, address, or date of birth, cruelty to children in the third degree, driving on the wrong side of the road, possession of a firearm by a convicted felon, improper lane change, and financial transaction card theft. Sir, do you understand what you're charged with? Sir? Ma'am? Do you understand what you're charged with? Counsel, do you waive the formal reading of the charges? I do, Your Honor. All right. Um, it looks like Mr. Harris does not have a bond. He's on probation. Looks like out of Dooley County. Either probation or um, parole. So he does not have a bond at this time. So we'll set the preliminary court date November the 4th at 8 a.m. in courtroom 201. And then you all can have that discussion at that time. Or you can speak with the state. Okay. Then, okay? Understood, right. Judge. Does he have a bond on, on any of the charges? Or, yes. yes, I think. Or which I one does he not have a bond on? We're not authorized to set bond on the felonies. So that's the uh, financial card theft, possession of um, firearms, or the commission of a felony and I'm not sure if the fleeing or obstruction is one. I have to look back at it. Um, no problem. I understand. But the felonies definitely um, we're not allowed to postpone on it at this time. Okay. Understood. Right. Thank right, you, Judge. You're welcome. Have a good one. Thank you for your patience. And Mr. Harris, you can return with the no day. problem. All right. All right, Mr. Kilgore and then Dalton Mercer. And you're a Jacoby Kilgore. I can't hear anything. Is she talking? I can't hear nothing. I'm sorry. You're charged with driving with no license, driving with an expired tag, violation of Georgia Controlled Substance Act, uh, theft by receiving stolen property, possession of a firearm during a commission of a crime, and possession of drug-related objects. And that uh, violation of Georgia Controlled Substance Act is the possession of marijuana. Do you understand what you're charged with? Yeah. Your bond is $21,000 and you're ordered not to violate any laws if you post bond. Do you think you'll be able to post bond? Your preliminary hearing is set for November the 4th at 8 a.m in courtroom 201, and you may return with the deputy. After Mr. Mercer is Jerome Richard and your Dalton Mercer. There Richard? I'm sorry. Yes, ma'am. You're charged with reckless conduct. Do you understand what you're charged with? Yes, ma'am. Your bond is $3,000. You're ordered not to violate any laws if you post bond. Do you think you'll be able to post bond? No, ma'am. Do you waive your preliminary hearing or would you like to have it? I'll waive it. Stand by to sign your waiver. 
After Mr. Richard is going to be Timothy Riley and your Jerome Richard. Sir, you're charged with fleeing from police, driving under the influence of alcohol less safe and driving too fast for conditions. Do you understand what you're charged with? Wow. Your bond is $5,000 and you're ordered not to violate any laws if you post bond. Do you think you'll be able to post bond? No. Oh, wow. Do you waive your preliminary hearing or would you like to have it? Say it again. Oh, Do you you like to have it? That's going to be set for October the 20th at 8 a.m. in courtroom 201. You, you may return with the deputy. Come on, put the pen down. After Mr. Riley is Karan Smiley. And you're Timothy Riley. Yes, All right, Mr. Riley, you're charged with theft by shoplifting. Do you understand what you're charged with? Yes, Your bond is $12,000. You're ordered not to return to Home Depot at 2034 Mount Zion Road in Morrow, Georgia, and you're not to violate any laws if you post bond. Do you think you'll be able to post bond? Your preliminary hearing is set for November the 4th at 8 a.m. in courtroom 201. You may return with the deputy. After Mr. Smiley is John Stubbs. Are you Karan Smiley? Yes, Your Honor. You're charged with criminal trespassing. Do you understand what you're charged with? Yes, Your bond is $2,000. You're ordered not to return to the Circle K at 5883 Highway 85 in Riverdale, Georgia. And you're not to violate any laws if you post bond. Do you think you'll be able to post bond? Do you waive your preliminary hearing or would you like to have it? Uh, I'll waive it. Stand by to sign your waiver. After Mr. Stubbs will be Thomas Taylor. John Stubbs. Yes, ma'am. John Stubbs, you're charged with possession of marijuana less than an ounce. Possession of ecstasy and possession of methamphetamine. Do you understand what you're charged with? Uh, the, the, I was, my tickets referred to possession of a counterfeit substance. Would you like the charges read um, in full? Um, no, ma'am. I, 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 I trust what you say. <laughs> not have a bond at this time. It looks like you are either on, oh, you're on probation, I guess, out of Clayton County. No, ma'am, I'm not on probation. I had the same problem in Fulton County. There's a way we can look at this because I had to go through the whole rigmarole of it. Well, you do need to speak with your court-appointed attorney if there is information that needs to be provided to the court, they can provide it properly. But that's what it's showing at this time, so I'm not authorized to set bail. There's no way I can get a, a bond on these and have the probation hold? Not today. Um, your preliminary court date is set for November the 4th at, at 8 a.m. I'm still Courtroom 20. Like I said, you get it for the court to consider they can properly present it to the court, okay? Yes, ma'am. Maybe turn it to the deputy. November what? November 4th at 8 a.m. in courtroom 201. All right. All right, I have Thomas Taylor. Oh, still right here. Okay. And you're Thomas Taylor. Are you Thomas Taylor? Yes, ma'am. 
You're charged with possession of marijuana less than an ounce and driving with an expired tag. You understand what you're charged with? Yes, ma'am. Your bond is $2,000 and you're ordered not to violate any laws if you post bond. Do you think you'll be able to post bond? Yes, ma'am. Do you waive your preliminary hearing or would you like to have it? That's going to be set for October the 20th at 8 a.m. in courtroom 201. You may return with the deputy. All right. Do you all have Tyrone Hicks and Stanley Robinson? Yeah, just about stay six feet away, sir. Be the social distancing. Thank you. Yeah, just stand by for some important information. All right, and who, who's Tyrone Hicks? It is said that you are wanted out of New Orleans, Louisiana, for failure to appear under warrant number 20019590. And then Stanley Robinson, is that you, sir? All right, it is said that you are wanted out of Vanderburg County Sheriff's Office in Evansville, Indiana, for stalking under warrant number 189407. Are either one of you represented by an attorney in your extradition matter, or would you like to both proceed without an attorney today? Proceed without an attorney as well. All right, I'm going to read some information to you, and then you both let me know how you want to um, handle your matter. This hearing is being conducted pursuant to OCGA Title 17, Chapter 13. As you have heard, it's alleged that you are charged with a crime in the demanding state. You have a choice as to whether you wish to contest extradition or waive extradition and be returned to the other state without going through the formal extradition process. If you decide you wish to contest extradition, the court may commit you to the county jail for an initial period of 30 days. During that time, a warrant will be prepared under the governor's signature for your extradition to the other state. I am not going to give you a bond at this time as it is said that you are a fugitive from justice. If you do not wish to voluntarily return to the demanding state, you may file what's called a writ of habeas corpus to contest the extradition. The writ of habeas corpus can only contest four things. The first thing is whether the extradition documents are in order on their face. The second is whether you are charged with a crime that actually exists in the demanding state. The third is whether you are the person named in the request for extradition. And the fourth is whether you are in fact a fugitive from justice. You cannot contest the issue of innocence or guilt in the state. You are entitled to the advice of counsel in contesting extradition or in deciding whether to waive extradition. If the state is unable to extradite you within 30 days, you may be committed to the county jail for an additional 60 days awaiting your extradition. If the extradition is not completed in 90 days, then you will be released. Do either of you have any questions about what I just explained? Mr. Hicks, do you want to Test extradition or I'm a wave. You said wave, and then Mr. Robinson, do you want to contest extradition or voluntarily be returned to Indiana? I'm gonna I want to wave. All right, I'm okay. The deputies are going to give you both eight copies of the waiver if you'll sign each of them and keep the last one for your record, okay? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, right. Right. Okay. This is my second time doing it. 
So we we done, y'all. Okay. Um. Yes. Just stand by to sign the waivers. Right. That concludes my calendar. Do you all have anyone else? Judge McFarland. Yes, ma'am. I want to confirm the, the warrant number for Mr. Hicks. Is it 2020 WA17509? Hicks. He's already signed some waivers. Two, dated. This says 20019590. No, I have different ones here. I have 17509 is the last three. Hold on one second, Judge McFarland. Were those, were those sent to uh, Deputy Jameson? Hold on. Okay. Mr. Robinson, come over here, please. This is what I have on the um, WAA, and it says for failure to appear, warrant number 20019590. And it's out of Jefferson Parish. Louisiana. Two zero. I'm sorry. Say two, two zero zero one nine five nine zero. That's the docket number. I'm referring to the WA number. Oh, one seven eight nine six. One seven eight nine six. Okay. He has some warrant numbers that he has already signed, Mr. Tyrone M. Hicks, which is one seven five zero nine, dated on October second. It doesn't have the judge's signature though. Do you want to email some more over so Mr. Hicks can sign with the correct warrant number? Yeah, uh, I'll send that. I'll, um, oh, I understand what you're saying. Hold on, I'm coming. Mr. Hicks, take a seat. Okay. All right, Mr. Let me... McFarland? Yes. Okay. Look. Hold on one second. I see what you have. I'm about to call the... Um, 